Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG abuse the hidden grottos in Pokemon Black or White 2. Uh, before you get started, uh, there's a few things you need in order uh, for this to work, besides the usual RNG tools like RNG Reporter, Eon Timer, and Chat Outs with a Recorded Chatter. Um, so you're going to need to have the hidden grotto you want to abuse in. It has to be empty, so go into it and empty it out. Um, if you happen to walk in on the Pokemon that is in your grotto, uh, and it's the one you want, then you don't have to get rid of it. Save it there, and then you can RNG abuse its stats straight away from there. You can't control its gender, but you can control its nature and all its stats still. So, if the Pokemon you want is in there, you're just very lucky. Uh, skip to the second half of this guide. Um, I will put an annotation below. So, if you are like most people and you walk into your grotto and there is some random item in it or a Pokemon that you do not care about is in it, then this is the first half and this is how to RNG the Pokemon into the grotto. Um, so, you have to make sure your daycare is uh, empty. Any Pokemon in the daycare will mess up the RNG abuse for that. You have to make sure your grotto is empty and that you are saved inside of it. Um, and then you also have to um, make sure all the grottos that come before uh, your grotto in terms of like route-wise and grotto-wise, uh, they're all filled. So if you just beat the game, this probably isn't a big deal, but uh, if you did a lot of collecting, you might want to check all your grottos and run around and make sure that they're all full. So now that all that's out of the way, you're going to want to go into... Uh, RNG Reporter, uh, open up Time Finder, 5th generation Time Finder, and you're going to want to click the Hidden Grotto tab. Now, Grotto Pokemon cannot be shiny, so Secret ID and Regular ID don't matter for this. So this is one of the few times you actually have a very easy option for months. Um, the results will pour in like crazy, because what we're doing here is we're, the only thing we're RNGing is which Pokemon shows up into the Grotto, or an item if you want the item. Uh, if it's a Pokemon, you you can RNG what gender it is. That's it. So you're RNGing what goes into the grotto, and if it's a Pokemon, what gender it is. So results will pour in like crazy. So this slot, sub-slot, gender, and gender ratio, they're all things uh, that are in Pokemon slots. Uh, it's the same thing you'd use for the wild capture. I'll link the website again in the description. Um, I'm going for a Fungus, so just control F your Pokemon that you want uh, on Route 5. So this is what I was talking about. So this is the Route 5 Grotto. All the route, uh, all the grottos listed before it here, they have to be, um, they have to be filled. That's it. Simple as that. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going for a Fungus, which is Pokemon number three. So for slot number three, you're actually going to check two because zero is one. Uh, and then sub slot is the groups here that they're listed. So I'm going to check all four of them because Fungus can show up in all four of them. Uh, if your Pokemon, for example, or your item only showed up in groups A and B, then you would just check uh, numbers 0 and 1. It's easy. Uh, the gender is what gender you want it to be. I want a female because breeding in Gen 5, if uh, you want to breed the Pokemon, then you can't breed hidden abilities through male like you can in Gen 6. The last thing is the gender ratio, which is this percent number here, not to the, actual, the Pokemon's actual gender ratio. So... Uh, Fungus is a 30%, just copy whatever Pokemon yours is. Then you click Generate. <clears throat> like I said, results will pour in like crazy. Um, just I always just pick the one that has the least amount of seconds that doesn't loop back around to one minute, so I'm going to pick this one. So then you're going to go into your DS and go to set the time. So it's 6-1-2016. I have that date set already. And it's zero zero so we can loop around to three and then it's 17 seconds so go into eon timer and set your seven uh, your seconds to whatever seconds there are here now before we start the ds uh, i'm going to make sure you know how to prep the hidden grotto so in the grotto uh, you're going to be saved into it uh, after you've gotten rid of whatever item is in there save inside the grotto uh, and what generates the, um, the the grotto is it checks to see if there's a Pokemon or an item in it is going to spawn. It checks that every 256 steps. So the best way to count your steps is stay in the grotto because random NPCs will mess up the RNG and the step count. So stay inside the grotto and before you save, put a Super Repel or a Max Pel on. A Super Repel counts 200 steps and a Max Repel counts 250 steps. So do a uh, 
a max repeller, a super repel, and then run around until the uh, the repel is out. Then don't put your repel back on and just count the number of steps that you take. Enter or exit and re-enter the grotto, and your Pokemon should be in there. Uh, like I said, this is Pokemon Black and White Two, so. It's, it can be random. I, I would say this could potentially take a few tries to get the correct Pokemon. Uh, there's just sometimes you'll miss your timer zero and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Okay, so now that you're in your grotto and you're saved with your Repel on, start on Eon Timer and start on your DS at the same time. So when Eon Timer's counting down, just boot back up to your DS's main screen. Gotta turn the DS off. What? Okay. Hit A, and uh, now that you're booting the game up, don't hold down any buttons. Uh, this is a no key press uh, boot up. Don't hit any buttons until the Game Freak logo appears. And once that, you can skip to the start screen, and just make sure when you start the game, don't start the C gear. And now just run around 256 steps. So I have a super repel on, although I would highly recommend a max repel. So takes a little while, but you just gotta run around a bunch. Um, the hit, the reason it's best to do this inside the grotto itself is because uh, the Pokemon or the item that you're trying to generate is generated by PID RNG, which can be affected by um, random NPCs moving around, and potentially weather even. So, I have a super repel, not a max repel, so it'll tell me, and that's 200 steps. So I hit no, and then I just have to count 56 uh, steps here. Not the most complicated stuff going on here. Uh, and you don't have to worry, like, it's, it's okay if you don't take your 256th step as the one that leads out of the grotto. You just have to take 256 and then leave. Uh, turn right back around and enter the grotto. And when you walk in, uh, if your timer zero didn't get messed up, you should have the Pokemon you want. And there is my Fungus. So save in front of the Pokemon that you want, and now you have to RNG abuse its nature and its stats. So I'm going to save and turn my DS off, and then I'm going to go back to RNG Reporter and do that. Okay, so now you've either successfully RNG'd the Pokemon you want into the grotto, or you got lucky and the Pokemon you wanted was already in the grotto. So from there, we're going to RNG the Pokemon's nature and its stats. So, go back over to the Capture tab in RNG Reporter and the Time Finder, and uh, the method is Ivy's Standard Seed, and then you just want to click Encounter Type and uh, Hidden Grotto uh, Pokemon. Uh, this is almost identical to the stationary Pokemon. Uh, from there on, you're going to want to pick your spread. So I want perfect everything except for uh, attack because I'm going for a Fungus. And I want a Bold Nature. You leave the ability alone because you're always, you're always going to get the hidden ability. Uh, the gender, uh, you can't pick the gender because you already RNG'd that. But for the ratio, you have to click the real gender ratio of the Pokemon you want. So uh, Fungus is a 50% male, 50% female Pokemon. But... You have to select what the gender is for your Pokemon, like the, the actual ratio, not the hidden grotto ratio, okay? So uh, if you were going for a Vulpix, for example, I believe that's a 25% uh, male, 50 or 75% female. So you have to click the actual ratio there. Uh, there's no reason to search for shiny frames because hidden grotto Pokemon cannot be shiny. And then check every single month so you have the most search options available. And hit generate. And I'll meet you back when I have a seed. Okay, I have my seed. I actually only got one seed, but that's perfect. Um, so now you're going to right-click, copy seed to clipboard, and you're going to want to paste your seed here. Oops, actually. First, you want to select uh, Gen 5 PIDRNG and then the method as uh, Hidden Grotto, and then paste your seed. You also want to make sure you check black and white too, and if you've used the memory link, check memory link. Then here in the gender, you have to select the proper gender ratio of the Pokemon uh, like you did in the time finder. Then hit calculate initial PIDRNG frame and hit generate. There you go. So I have a bold uh, spot right there. Um, all the bolded, so the nature is the bold, um, I want a bold nature, but also any bolded uh, nature here is uh, something that can be changed um, with synchronize 
So this is a bold nature, but if I didn't want to use that nature, I could uh, have a Pokemon as a lead with Synchronize that would change the nature to what uh, nature the Synchronized Pokemon has. So once you've got all this stuff out of the way, we're going to go onto our DS and change the clock. So it's 9, 8. For some reason, I had the year set to 2015, but that's fine. And 1342. with no key presses, which is also awesome. And Eon timer is 47 seconds. Seven. Okay, so now that everything's all set up, you want to hit start on Eon timer and A on your DS at the same time. And wait for Eon timer to count you down. So uh, this is black and white too, so if you were trying to RNG the Pokemon into the grotto, you probably noticed it took a few tries because you missed your timer zero. Um, honestly, that's going to happen again. Uh, you're going to miss it a few times here, probably. Um, you'll know straight away when the chat out chatters don't match up correctly. Um, it's not a big deal, black and white two's timer zero fluctuates a lot, but if you did the calibration correctly like I showed in my video, there is one timer zero you will hit significantly more than the others. So. Uh, I'd say it, it could take up to five or six tries. Uh, it shouldn't be anything excruciating, excruciatingly tedious. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad. So um, here's where you'd be holding down the buttons if you had any key presses. I do not have any key presses, so I'm not holding any buttons down. Uh, I wait until the Game Freak logo appears to hit any buttons. There you go. And start the game up. And don't use the C gear as usual. And go straight to your menu and check your shoutouts. What do we got? That's high, that's a good start. It's a mid high. That's mid low, here we go. Here we go. We hit the right, uh, we hit the correct seed, and you can tell through the shoutouts. Oops. So you want to stop the frame before you're going to receive the Pokemon. So I want this bold uh, chat out on frame, or th this bold nature on frame 59, but you stop, the last chatter you listen to is the quiet one. So then you back out of your menu, and you talk to the Pokemon, and you should have everything correct. So this is my Fungus. It's a female, so that's off to a good start. Throw a quick ball out. Simple catch. Some of the higher level Pokemon might be uh, slightly more of a pain to catch. I apparently have not caught a Fungus in this game before. Alright, so since it can't be shiny, you're pretty much going to have to check its stats, but it helps to check, uh, so I have a bold nature, so that's pretty good. And alert to sounds uh, means a status 31, at least. So all we do once we have the nature and the gender correct is we go to the guy at gear station. Which, oh, actually, right here, I could have just, like, walked not very far. My character's kind of lazy, I guess. Okay. And the stats judge is in Nimbasa and in Gear Station. Although I have a suspicion that he will tell me my Fungus has perfect stats. Outstanding potential, there we go. HP. And there you go. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.